Hi everyone and welcome back. And first of all, I want to thank you for watching and joining me on this new creation that we're about to make. Today we'll be creating Oxtel Kare Kare. And also a big shout out to Brian for giving me the idea of cooking this new Oxtel Kare Kare that we're about to make. Right. So if you're ready for it, let's go cooking. We'll cook the oxtail on a pressure cooker and well let's turn on the fire and cook it for 35 minutes. We'll boil the stripes on another pot and cook it about 25 minutes. All right, so when we cook the oxtail tail for 35 minutes in the pressure cooker, make sure that we don't open it up so that way it doesn't burst out. The best way to do it is put it on the sink, run it with cold water and wait another five minutes before opening it. All right, safety first. Okay, here it is, let's go cooking. When the pot is hot, let's put our olive oil it's about at least uh, two tablespoons of body oil. When the oil is hot, we'll be sauteing our anato ground so that way it will have that nice color and as well as that caramelized flavor. We stir the anato ground constantly so that way it don't burn out and have that uh, evenly cooked to it. All right, looks ready, and let's drop our ingredients. Smells so good, as well as that onion and garlic, nice aroma. Now we're gonna be pouring our stock from the oxtail, and it's about six cups around there. Once the water is boiling, we can add our peanut butter cream and also one of the uh, beef bouillon cubes together. And when you're ready for the next step, let's drop our string beans into our pot. Now that our soup is getting more thicker, and then now we're gonna put our oxtail and uh, please don't mind me on the video it's uh, kind of upside down I believe but I will get it corrected next time 
All right, folks, our kare kare is looking good now. So we'll be dropping our tripes in the pot to join the oxtail. And it's, it smells so right. You guys gotta get the chance to try this. After simmering it about 15 minutes, now our sauce is getting nice and thick. And that's how we want it to be, not too loose, but thick enough uh, to get all that flavor all compound on the meat and the stripes and all the vegetables as well. Now we're gonna be dropping up our eggplant that we got here. They are very quick to cook, so pretty much they're kinda second to the last. And once the eggplant is uh, nice and soft, we'll go from there and drop off the last vegetable that we have. Oh, okay, we'll cover it up and uh, let's just wait a couple of minutes to get that eggplant um, become soft. We need to stir it constantly and as well as the fire should be low so that way it doesn't get too much uh, heat. All we wanted to do now is just to make sure our vegetable is properly cooked. This is where the bok choy is going to be landing next so he's the next one to be put into the pot. The last in one uh, last vegetable that is gonna be joining them and we'll constantly stir it at this time because the sauce is real thick as well as the meat is real soft uh, as you can see the sauce is fabulous nice and thick and basically what we're gonna be doing now is just making sure that our vegetable are properly cooked and make sure that their color if it's green should be green and if it's brown should be brown but yeah, it's getting turned out to be real good. Alright everyone, as we're dishing up, I just want to take my time to thank you for watching my YouTube channel and hope this video helps you in how to cook our oxtail kare kare. And please don't forget to press like, share and subscribe. Thank you.